Here's 16 ways to change duration in Final Cut like a pro in under 10 minutes. I'll share a bunch of tricks, including my favorite keyboard shortcut for quick duration changes. Stay till the end, and I'll show you how to change the duration of a bunch of clips at once. But first, in Final Cut, select your clip. This can be a video clip, a title, or even an audio clip. I'll select my video clip, and then I'll go up to Modify, and I can select Change Duration there. Or I have a couple other options. I can right-click on it and select Change Duration. Or with my clip selected, I can double-click on the time code here. Or or even faster, select my clip and press Control D. And now I can change the timing. So these first numbers here, that's hours. This is minutes, then seconds, then frames. So if I want this to be three seconds long, I'll enter 300 and then press return or enter. And now my clip is three seconds long. I can also click and drag on an edit point to shorten a clip or make it longer. And you'll notice up here in the viewer, on the left-hand side, it shows the end frame of the clip. If you don't see the trimming feedback here in the viewer showing your last frame, press command comma to open up the preferences and go to editing and under timeline, make sure show detailed trimming feedback is turned on. You can also change the duration with the precision editor. Select your clip, go up to view and select show precision editor or press control E or double click on an edit point like so. And it pulls up this precision editor. This grayed out section on the left is the media I have available. So I can make this clip longer by clicking and dragging on it to the right or shorter by dragging to the left. I can do the same thing for the top clip. I can make it shorter or longer. When I reach the end here and it turns red, that means I have no more video or media available. To get out of the precision editor, just double click here or press escape. For our next trick, press R to bring up this range selection tool and then click and drag to select a section of the title you wanna keep. By the way, this will work for video and audio as well. Then go up to trim and select trim selection or press the keyboard shortcut option forward bracket. And you'll notice the title shortened to only include that section I select. You can also fine tune your edit points with some keyboard shortcuts. For this example, I'll use an audio clip, but again, you can do this with videos or titles or images or anything. Okay, so select your edit point. In this case, the beginning of the audio clip, and then I'll use period to move my edit point over one frame at a time. If I use shift in period, I can do 10 frames at a time. Comma will do it the opposite direction and then shift comma, we'll do it 10 frames at a time. Audio is interesting because it has what's called subframes. So it's increments in the subframe level. So this gray bar right here that you see, that's one video frame. And so video, I can only change or move one frame at a time, but with audio, I can move within that frame by doing subframe movements. So I'll hold down option and I'll press period and you can see it moving. I'm pressing period several times. You can see I'm moving within the frame. And then if I want to go back the other way, I use comma. If I hold down shift, it'll do 10 subframes at a time when I press period or comma. So you have to hold down option and then period and comma and then option shift period and comma for 10 at a time. All right, for this next trick, you'll select the edit point that you want to change and you'll move your playhead to where you want it to go. And then you go up to trim and select extend edit or even faster, press shift X and you'll see it trimmed that clip to the playhead. I can do it for the other side as well. So I'll move my playhead here and press shift X and it trims it. Let's say if I wanna make it longer. So I'll move my playhead here, select the end and then I'll press shift X and it extends or changes the duration, makes it longer of that clip. Select a clip and then press plus. It'll change the time code up here and then enter a new time. You want to shift this clip. So if I wanna move forward, I'm gonna enter a positive number. So we'll enter three period for three seconds and then enter. And you'll notice that that clip moved forward in time three seconds and it overwrote whatever was there and it extended or changed the duration of this clip here. I'll undo that and this time I'll select it and I'll press a minus sign and I'm gonna move it back in time one second. So one, zero, zero, then enter. You'll notice this clip's duration was extended. This clip's duration stayed the same, but moved over and it overwrote one second of this clip. Okay, this next trick is one of my favorites. I'm gonna leave my playhead over here, but I'm gonna move this red skimming playhead and with a clip selected, I can change its start point very quickly. So I can move it here, then I can press option, left bracket, and it trims the start of that clip to my red playhead. So I'll move my skimming red playhead here and I'll press option, right bracket, and it trims it again. I love how flexible Final Cut is and that there's a lot of different ways I can make edits and change duration. What's been your favorite one so far? Speaking of favorites, will you please favorite this video and give it a thumbs up so other people will see it? And in just a bit, I'm gonna show you how to change multiple layered clips all at once. But first, I wanna show you what's called a roll edit. In Final Cut, press T to bring up the trim tool. Then move your cursor between two edit points until you get this special icon. Now click and drag left 
and right. And you'll see that I can change or roll the edit point left or right, and it changes the duration of the two clips involved. You'll see this little time code that pops up above it. That tells me how much I have changed the edit point. So right now I've changed it by 13 frames. And now I've changed it by one frame and 10 seconds. Next, we'll do a slip edit. With the trim tool selected, click and drag on any clip left or right. This changes the start and end points of that clip. It doesn't change the duration, but it's really handy and I had to just throw it in. Up at the top, you'll see the start frame and the end frame as I move this clip around. You'll also see this little time code pop up and that tells me how much I've changed it. So I've shifted the start and end frames by one second and six frames. Next up is the slide edit. With the trim tool selected, hold down option to get this special icon. Now click or drag anywhere left or right on your clip. Notice the clip duration stays the same, but it moves in the timeline, changing the duration of the clips on its left and its right. Let's take a look at changing transition duration. I've got a transition in my clip here, and if I click and drag on the handles here, I can make it shorter or longer. I can also double click on it to bring up the precision editor, and then I can click and drag here to make the transition longer or shorter, and I can even move the position of the transition and change the duration of the clips at the same time. To get out, I'll press escape, and then I can select it, and back to our old favorite, I can press control D, and it brings up the time code change up here. I'll enter two period for two seconds, and then press enter, and you'll see our transition is now a two second transition. You can change the default duration for a lot of stuff like pictures and transitions. Press command comma to bring up preferences. Go to the editing tab and down here under durations, we can change the standard duration or default duration of things like images, crossfades and transitions. Right now my transitions are default two seconds, but if I change it to one and close this, we'll delete this transition, open up our transition browser and let's add a cross dissolve. And you'll see right here with it selected and in yellow that it's one second long. You can change the duration of a bunch of clips at once by selecting them in your timeline, pressing Control D, and then entering the new time. So I wanna go two seconds each, so I'll press two, zero, zero for two seconds, and then I'll press Enter. And you'll see all those clips were changed to be two seconds long exactly. You can change the duration of multiple clips at once when they're stacked up like this in your timeline. Select all of your clips, and then to shorten them to all to the same point, move your playhead where you want it, and then press Option, right bracket, and all of them will trim to your skimming playhead. It's a little bit trickier if I want to extend them. Let's say I want my clips to all end right here at the playhead. If I select them and press Option, right bracket, it doesn't work. It's, instead, it trims this clip down here. So what we have to do first is extend all of these and then trim it. With all of your clips selected, press Control D, then press Shift plus sign, and let's add three seconds. So I'll press three period for three seconds and then enter. And that extends all of these three seconds. Now I can move my playhead to where I want them to all end, and then I can press Option, right bracket, and it trims all of them up. You can also change the duration of clips connected to your timeline. We'll use titles for this example, but it works for pictures, video, and audio as well. If I select all my titles and then press Control D and then enter a new time, let's say three period for three seconds and enter, then it puts these gaps in here. Let's say I want my titles to stay together, but I also want to change the length or the duration of them. So before you change them, select them, then press Command G to put them into this storyline. Now, if I select all three and press Control D, enter two period for two seconds and then enter, you'll see that they all stayed together, but they now have their duration changed too. Pretty sweet trick, right? There you have it. There's a ton of different ways to change duration in Final Cut Pro. And now that you're a master on duration change, I wanna show you how to join or merge clips in Final Cut Pro in just two clicks. Check this video out.